Hey, look. It's Tinsel Town. <laughs> Christmas decorations have hit Disney's Hollywood Studios. That's so right. we're going to go see. I'm hearing that Gertie may not have her Santa hat yet, but we're going to go look at some Christmas trees and see what they got here in Hollywood Studios so far. Okay, so here's the thing about Hollywood Studios. The Christmas decorations are a little bit different than what you'd see in some of the other parks. Um, I don't know what the word I'm looking for. Um, not antique-ish, nostalgic maybe, but there's a lot of silver, garland. Um, there's lots of vintage kind of a feel to it. It doesn't feel modern and that is intentional, um, but you will find it is a little bit different here in Hollywood Studios. Perfect, you wanna get a here's one? Reminds me of the things you used to see in your grandmother's house when you used to visit for like the holidays. You know, the things that were pretty but you couldn't touch. They're there. Now I'm hoping it's just because the first of the decorations have gotten through. But normally Gertie over there sports a uh, very cool Santa hat. And holds an ornament in her mouth. And uh, what's that? She holds an ornament in her mouth. She has an ornament in her mouth. So we're hoping Gertie still gets her Christmas decorations here over the next couple of days. I don't know, this to me looks like Prancer. Maybe. We know there's still more decorations to come. I mean, this is only the very first day that we put out a tree here at Hollywood Studios. They still have support structures to get out to the center and to add some more. How cool are these Christmas trees that are on the light poles? They're very much elevated. I don't recall, they very well may be, but I do not recall these being out prior to this year. They may very well have been. But the idea of how elevated they are, how nice would it be to be able to walk under your Christmas tree like that at home? Think about how many presents you could fit under your Christmas tree if you had that much. That is awesome. But no, I don't remember these last year. I could be wrong.
looks like the sugar kids have returned. Remember these from last year? I don't know. I, I, I am still undecided on these guys. They look cheap. Okay, they don't look too bad now, but when the sun goes down, are they watching you as you walk by? They look so sweet, but... Now these little ladies with the peppermint. I think these are quite these are quite cute. I don't know. They don't seem to seem to have the same feeling as the uh, the hooded sugar kids over there. I like these a lot better. See, I don't find those to be quite as creepy as the sugar cat guys. No, I don't think so. They're actually kind of sweet. Yeah. I don't know what the difference is. There's, there's three of them. They have candy. Maybe it's the hoodies. Maybe they're not wearing hoods. They don't Could have that oompa loompa feel to them. Could be. Like they're going to shove me down the hole with a bunch of bad nuts or something. Just have those cute little umbrellas. Lots of silver. Lots of gold. Now the stars were installed about a week or so ago. They are not lit yet. Maybe they'll come on after sundown. But this is going to be the area where the flurry of fun will take place. I really enjoyed this as a Christmas event. They will have the screens, which you can see up there. And they will have intermittent little visitations from different characters. Wishing guests happy holidays, Merry Christmas and the like. And of course, there will be snow. Or as we call it here in Florida, snow. edge and see all the Christmas trees. <laughs> I wonder if they're going to be silver trees or green trees. Um, what kind of Christmas trees? Do they have them by two? All they have are dark spires there. No, they need all kinds of space trees. I want space pines. I don't think so. I don't know so. what a space pine looks like, but I need it. I don't think so. a few lights up here in Municipal, but not I don't think they're quite done just yet just a few lights here and there It's only Tuesday at the moment, Tuesday, November 5th. So we're gonna see the Hollywood Studios Flurry of Fun start this coming Friday, November 8th. And after that happens, this Sunset Boulevard is gonna be an amazing place to be as the shows continually rotate. The lights are on. People can enjoy the snoop that is Florida Christmas. So we're still early in the week. Magic Kingdom's almost at 100%. Epcot, of course, won't be starting out until uh, the uh, International Festival of the Holidays later this month. Looking forward to the new things coming this year to Animal Kingdom, uh, the Merry Menagerie, and the cool uh, interactive things that are gonna be right there at the beginning on Discovery Island. Um, but it's gonna be a great Christmas season. Hollywood Studios is getting there. It won't be long before it's all up. We'll be back again when Gertie has her Santa hat on. Until then, if you haven't already and you're not a part of our Ear to Ear Magic community here on YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'd love for you to join us and see our new videos when they come out, so hit that bell notification too. Thanks for watching, guys. Have an awesome evening, and we'll see you guys later in the parks.